Okay, thanks. Um, and my presentation today probably goes a little bit in the same direction, but uh, so thanks for inviting me and, and Dualog to talk today. And as you could see on the video, Dualog is based in the Arctic and headquartered in the city of Tromsø. But we established ourselves in Singapore already back in 2001, and it's good to be back for me here, where I spent five memorable years with my family from 2006 to 2011. Uh, my background is not in shipping, so this presentation comes from more from the tech vendor side. And in order to be able to talk about decarbonization and greener shipping, I have performed a super simple research project on my own, which has basically, basically been about the experiences and feedback I have gathered during some extensive traveling over the past months. I have been talking to industry, attending conferences, taking part in some projects, and talking to customers like NYK in Tokyo and Torvald Klavenes in Oslo. And I will elaborate a bit more on the latter. Basically, my findings and feedback is that the big leap towards zero emission targets is depending on nature and difficult decisions regarding engines and fuels, which already has been clearly appointed from others. And in this respect, I don't see a clear direction forward. It's more like the two guys sitting in the conversation near the tree in Samuel Beckett's playwright waiting for Godot, but not much really happens. So I guess the dis difficult question regarding decarbonization is what we can do today or even now. And that's, what this, that's my focus in this presentation. In this uh, context, I found it interesting to be a part of the approach the shipping company Torvald Klavenes has chosen to decarbonization, an approach which I find quite impressive. They have strong commitment expressed on highest management level, very visible on all their platforms and communication channels. They have invested in targeted initiatives like Lovenest Digital and Zero Lab and adding competent people to focus on a responsible direction forward when it comes to climate and environment. And even more important, they have established practical use cases, use cases with clear targets that can be measured. So rather than waiting for the future, Clavenes has defined four specific areas of improvement on the ships, which you can see illustrated here, and, and that all will contribute to less emission and a greener journey in the short and near term. I will not touch into each of these areas, but the impact of these actions is, of course, a strong increase on different types of data and need for digital integration. And this is how Dualog and Clavenes found a joint way forward which I will explain briefly. I will use one example, which involves the technology from ShipShape, already mentioned, and I think they are also present here today. With the ambition of re reducing hull friction, Clavenes has, amongst all other initiatives, established a drone system for cleaning the hull that captures videos while being operated by the crew. By the but the expertise for the continuous improvement sits on the shore side, and they, need up uh, and they need updated data. To cater for this, Dualog Drive is a system that seamlessly ensures that safe and secure data transfer. We are literally bringing ship and shore closer. In a terrestrial world, this kind of data exchange would be a no-brainer, but on a sailing ship, it's more complicated with limited and expensive bandwidth, short, shortage of competence, especially in IT, and ever-increasing cybersecurity threats. So in, or, in order to succeed with a digital strategy where your ships is including in integrated solutions, you in most cases need purpose-based solutions like the one Dualog has provided in this case. So what I just showed is a simple and good example of how collaboration between customers and vendors has contributed to less emission. Digitalization has been a practical key to success, kind of pictures taken, brought ashore, and better decisions made. Quite easy, but quite efficient. So the takeaway from me then, or the giveaway, is kind of pointing in the same direct direction as, as the previous speakers. A green awareness and focus, look to Clavenes, amongst others. 
digitize and integrate your ship, and that can happen all the time. But that needs money investment, no, those huge investments already we talked about, but still, people and competence, system and routines, that can happen straight away. Challenges, of course, you need what we said, it, it's, it's difficult to integrate ships. Cybersecurity is an increasing threat. It needs to be standards and collaboration and ownership of data has to be cleared. And there will, has to be a willingness to share. Uh, and the collaboration itself, of course, is key. So the industry, the authorities, the vendors, everyone has to, to go together to, to make this happen. Uh, and since this is a Norway-Singapore thing, I would just share my personal experience about what we can do together. I think the Norwegians are perhaps a little bit in front when it comes to innovations. I think both co countries are quite good on decisions. But, but on uh, implementation, I think Singapore is ahead. So both co countries make decisions. But in Norway, we just make another decision. In Singapore, you actually implement. So uh, that would be my presentation. Thank you very much.